Welcome to Season 5 of Scrapyard Wars! The competition is going to be hotter than ever because Luke and I are traveling to sunny California to take on, yes, we're going to be on a team for the first time, Paul from Paul's Hardware and Kyle from Awesome Sauce News Network Bit Wit. Close it's enough. a team battle. Everyone gets 500 American US dollars to build the best RGB gaming computer they can. Make sure it's all there. Yeah. You know him. And go! Oh yeah, and it's brought to you by iFixit and FreshBooks. Okay, ready guys? Three, two, one! Scrapyard Wars! Okay, go, 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 let's go. What are you doing with the money? We gotta get started. <laughs> Two teams try to build the best gaming rig they can for $500. The rules are simple. You work within the set hours, you buy the parts you use, and you can't use your influence as a YouTuber to get deals. Oh, and the best RGB computer gets a 10% score bonus. Welcome to Scrapyard Wars. You have the money? Hey. Okay, so who's yeah. okay, good. Okay. Close enough. Where does everybody build? What? You guys can be there, we'll go there. I guess. We're there, you guys are in the kitchen? Sure. Okay. All right, we get the... Uh, we, that gives we them get, an advantage. Wow. Is they, a better I don't know. they apparently have a lot of confidence that I think is unjustified. Because these guys are these guys are cruising for a... Uh, cruising for a bruise in here. We, we need laptops, stat, because yeah. we don't know what the heck is going on. We gotta remember that we don't know anything around here. Right. Yeah. And also that this isn't the real money. This is Paul and Kyle's money that yeah, we have I to give back to them. I'm kind of hungry, we haven't had lunch yet. Yeah, I know. Okay. We should probably eat. There's a good place to eat. <laughs> okay. Do we have time for lunch? Okay. Water? You know what? Why are you guys hoarding all the water? Like, it's really hot here. Dude. And we're gonna need our water. Also, this is your money, so you don't need that. Okay. How are you guys getting money? Or? We'll have to go get the real money from the hotel room where I left it. Um, but it's okay. I can just give you some of this money and then you can bring that tomorrow if that saves some time. Well, we left it on like the counter in the bathroom, and we didn't put the do not disturb on, and it's like a thousand dollars of actual money. Yeah. Um, so, I actually don't know if I we're gonna go back to the hotel room. I think I'm just gonna roll the dice on the money on the counter because we've only got two and a half days effectively. We started so late. We've never worked together. I don't even know what to say to you. I I, I know. I'm just automatically looking things up. Yeah, I'm like I'm I'm looking at. Uh, Goodwill Electronic Recycling right now. Okay, okay, so how about I I start tracking down what's on Craig's, do, do they have Kijiji here? I don't know about Kijiji here. I don't really think so. Okay. Um, because Kijiji is owned by eBay and eBay is bigger in the States. Now you were saying this earlier, like they might not know that Orange County is pretty near nearby here. Yeah, so if we're lucky, they might end up hitting hitting up LA Craigslist, which is gonna be like hella traffic. Is this Ontario, Canada? Free Geek Toronto, yeah, no, no dice. Yeah, if they're looking at LA, this is our, this is our home field advantage. If they're looking at LA traffic, uh, or if they're looking at lo LA locations, they might get all the way into LA, which is to the north. Right. But we're like right on the border to go south, yeah. Orange County. I think our, our initial goal should be to try to find a really cheap, complete system that somebody's selling that we can get base components like a case and a power supply that we can get like dirt cheap. And then for our, I think the RGB integration is gonna be a challenge, but I feel like we might consider, all right, we do have an ace in the hole, an option, which is Micro Center. Yeah, should we, should we, uh, should we head out or? We should. I just realized that we can't leave them here though, because I, no one can lock the door. I have to lock the door. I love how that we get the workshop. This is awesome. Except they said it's going to get really hot and that has central air and this doesn't. Oh, yeah. so we, we thought that they were... No, I didn't. Oh. You, you claimed the workshop. So you knew that we were getting shit on yes. immediately. Yeah. Great. You were Perfect. like, let's, we, we take the workshop and I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt. We just realized we all need to leave together because I need to lock the door. Otherwise, it will be unlocked. And just whenever we go. This isn't Canada, guys. I know. We, we, lock, we, our lock, our we lock our doors. We lock our doors. People will kill us. Do you have a second key? Yeah, do you have a key? Like, I'm, I'm, I am I realize I'm asking or for a lot. Garage door work? Yeah. Garage door is not really an option, unfortunately. All right, I have an idea, but we'll discuss when the cameras are off. Okay, so here it is. Strictly platonic. Here we go. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> so LA sucks. 
What I mean by this is there's like nothing there in terms of used PC parts. Everything's MacBooks. You know what I think the first thing we have to do is, is get our bearings. Like maybe the reason you can't find anything for Ontario is that that's not like a, like a relevant thing. Going? Yeah, like, like where's like Orange County and where's like I don't think that's Hollywood and... Hollywood's like an hour away, I think. Well, no, I just mean no, like... I hear you, I hear you. So these are like, are these counties? Is El Monte, these are all really small. Okay, so Los Angeles is like a fair ways that way. I, like, I don't even know where Hollywood is. All I know is there's a big sign that I've never seen even though I've been to LA like quite a few times. These guys are leaving already? <coughs> you guys are leaving already? You guys are still here. I mean, you understand what happens in this area with traffic after it gets past like 2 p.m. Don't tell them. It's past 2 p.m. It's not like it's gonna matter. There will be traffic. We're everywhere. That's all that matters. Don't be yeah, it's after 2. Yeah, you guys are screwed. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Well, what are we gonna do? I hate you. <laughs> I have a feeling they're just going to Kyle's house. Oh, that makes sense. Those guys are so full of sh you know what, I think that these guys actually, if they actually intend to get out there today, are gonna be in for a rude surprise in terms of like- Research matters, man. Yeah, how not efficient that is. Yeah. Maybe it was kind of unfair and like shit of us to stack the teams like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Then again, like I'm gonna be killing my, or not killing myself, but kicking myself at the very least for saying something like that. And then potentially losing. And then potentially losing. I think we'll be okay. So if we got somebody to the judges, what if we had food that was somehow associated with the system that they could eat, and the food was colored red, green, and blue? Like uh, green eggs and ham type of thing, like on the yeah. power supply. I don't know, maybe okay. that's, maybe, like I said, call me crazy, I'm just, I'm trying, I'm spitballing here. Potentially. Just throwing we're, out ideas. We're gonna have to make like a, a, you know, like a fast food run right before we get to the judges then, and like, maybe like put all the food inside the case, and when they open it up, you know, it's like, dinner served. Exactly make us win. Um, that should work out perfectly. That or paints. I mean, right. I mean, if we can't, if we can't find anything that lights up RGB. Yeah. Maybe there's know, some things at your house. Maybe there's some things that light up at your house that aren't necessarily, oh, I guess we couldn't use anything. Yeah, I think like we have that. to buy everything. We have to buy everything. I'm going to call this place right now. Okay. Hey, Jared. Um, I was wondering if you guys sell any, uh, like sort of pre-built systems that uh, are somewhat or fully functional. No, we do not. Sorry about that. I'm Kyle from Bitwit. I'm Kyle from Bitwit, you idiot. There's Mr. Chance to meet me. God. All right. Um, 909. Exit? Oh. I thought I thought we weren't allowed to go into the 909. That's that's a dangerous area. What? No, it's not. Is it? 909. That's that's nothing. Crackheads. And that means that methodics. means they'll be willing to sell computer parts for that's really true. cheap. Now Kyle and I obviously uh, go back for quite a while. We work together at Newegg. We do a regular, regular weekly live show on Tuesday evenings at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, it's, it's been good so far. I think we have a, a good basic understanding of like, you know, working together and everything. So that's good. We're pretty used to each other's vibe and uh, can really feed on each other's ideas and things like that. We're, we're really good at bouncing back back and forth ideas, so um, so far it's been a pretty positive experience. What's the rule, what's the rule if, it's so like if we, with crackheads? if we bought some crack or something at like a really good rate, Ooh, crack. let's, say, let's say we knew a guy, right? and then we could bring it out to that area and perhaps we could trade up, you know, and get more for our, for... They would all just kind of come scurrying out. I don't out, know what the right? rules are with Scrapyard Wars for like an intermediary form of currency or crack other exchanges. <laughs> crackyard Wars. Could, sometimes I can be a little sporadic and, and scatterbrained and he brings back the focus but then I can sort of drive the urgency so I think it's a nice balancing act. Hi, uh, I was wondering if you guys sell any pre-built computer systems. No, we don't. Dick. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking this might be a good area to kind of have as a base of operations. We're in uh, Roland Heights right now. Newegg is located just a few blocks that way as well as quite a few of the larger manufacturers of parts like MSI's over there, Gigabyte's over there, Zotac's over there. So there's a lot of kind of techie people in that, you know, who might work with, actually work with them directly. Not that we're like trying to find anyone we know, but I feel like, I feel like in this area we can find oh, some. That's a good idea. Um, so I think maybe get some food and while we're sitting down we can make some calls uh, via Craigslist or something like that. I think if we get, I think if we get food then we've already won, really. 
That's probably true. Basically. You can't can't hunt for computer parts on an empty stomach. From minute zero, you have to bust or else you are just gonna fail. I'm so glad that we stopped here at these sandwiches, purveyors of fine Vietnamese baguette-based sandwiches and stuff, to eat and recoup and gather our thoughts. I agree. Also, we're so overconfident, I think. So FreshBooks' sponsorship is that we use the FreshBooks app to track all of our um, our expenses. So we could do time tracking, but like we're not billing for yeah. anything we're doing. But you basically just go like this, and then you just like put what it is oh, that's pretty and easy. how much it was and the currency. That's and probably gonna be easier to track than like. And then you attach a receipt, so you just take a fit picture. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. I don't know why we were ever using a spreadsheet for this before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I will get Excel open at some point here and everything will be fine. Can I help you? I was just wondering if you guys sell used computer parts? Parts? Yeah. Uh, maybe, what are you looking for? Uh, uh, generally, no, but what do you got, what you need? Um, basically, we're like we're trying to build a, a pretty good gaming system for a friend, but we've only got like a few hundred bucks, so we don't have a huge budget, and we were thinking maybe buying used would be a good idea, so. Uh, my guess is you'd be interested in Windows machines parts. Well, I don't know what you're looking for specifically. Any, all we do is Macs, first off. Oh. So if you have something specific, please let me know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think um, I think we were looking for Windows, so um, th thank you very much then. If you look at PC parts on Craigslist, it comes up with Mac Maglock power adapters. It's all Macs. Macs to the max. MacBook Air, iMac, MacBook Pro, Apple Mac Remote. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with here. We should just build a Mac. <laughs> like, what are we expecting for 500 US dollars? So someone wants 400 bucks for an R7 370 FX8328 gigs RAM, one terabyte hard drive. Holy shit, this is not like as cheap as I was sort of hoping it would be. There's a 970 for 190 bucks. Should we decide now? Like, do we go for the RGB modifier? Or do we forget about it? I think we don't focus on it, at least at the start. Do you think they're gonna go for it? We could try and do it creatively. Like, we could buy, like, red, green, and blue paint. Yeah, I thought about that, but making that look genuinely cool might be difficult. Maybe not, if we had enough time. Like, it's hot here, so paint would dry really fast. Okay. Have you ever done, like, cornering? Cornering. Like, use a few different emails no. and phone numbers to lowball super hard, and then, like, do a more reasonable one. You're such an <laughs> I've never done that on Scrapyard Wars, I don't think. <laughs> okay, should I get on creating a few Gmails? I have a few. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're half an hour in, and I have got the Scrapyard Wars 5 dock open. In my activated copy of Word. That's where I'm at. I got, honestly, almost nothing done for the first hour. Stan, tech rush. Hi, I was just wondering if you guys sell used computer parts? No, not, nothing like that. We don't sell parts. Hi, I was wondering if you guys have used computer components for sale? Uh, I mean, you could check around with, there's, there's a shop called Stan's Tech Garage, you can check with those guys. I really hope those guys are, like, not finding anything right now because there is not a lot of time. Yeah. I just found a really good deal on Craigslist. It was a 2500K, overclockable, for 90 bucks in Garden Grove, but I kind of screwed up. What? I emailed him from my business email, Ooh. like, so he knows if he knows, if he recognizes me, but in any way, shape, or form, that means we can't do the deal. Technically, yeah. rules of Scrapyard Wars, so I'm really hoping that but if he I'm not as popular. If he doesn't recognize you, then we would just want to confirm, yes, we will pay this much, and we will come and get it, Yeah. and then it wouldn't matter, because we would have confirmed the price beforehand. Right. Okay, so Inland Empire, uh, Norco, actually, we have a i5-2500K-based system. This is a complete system for $450. Uh, Corsair memory, it looks like an 8 gig, two, it seems like two 4 gig sticks. P67 motherboard, a GTX 950 at, uh, graphics card, so that's not that great. But a Seasonic 600 watt power supply, OCZ 240 gig SSD, 
and even some like LED, red LED fans and stuff. So um, maybe maybe we could reply and ask him if we could just omit the GTX 950 since we don't need it, as yeah. well as like there was like bundling some other crappy gaming yeah, peripherals, a motherboard or a keyboard and a mouse. Maybe if we could just eliminate those and try to talk him down on, on price, because right now it's 450 bucks, which is most of our budget. But if we can cut that that down to like 350 or something. Uh, Do you think ketchup and mustard cables count as RGB? Oh, 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 cut, cut. Did you, you didn't leave your backpack, did you? Uh, laptop. No. I'm kind of careless idiot doing the game. We need, we need to do something today, though. We need to, we gotta stop somewhere. We need to inter interact with other humans. It feels like we haven't done anything. It's like we, we went to Lee's and ate sandwiches, which was delicious. I don't regret that. In fact, we could just go back there again tomorrow, I think. Oh my god, what if we just like went to a scrapyard and like found some metal and like <laughs> bent it? I mean, we've got iFixit kits. Yeah, we'll make it work. So what does the iFixit ProTech toolkit have in it? Um, okay, we've got a 64-bit screwdriver kit. Is that is that is that good for bending metal? Uh, I mean, it'll help us like fix it together. Uh, no, okay. It's got their their prying tools. I'm thinking Steel, sheet steel? <laughs> no, not what that's for. Suction cups for removing screens. Um, we've got, uh, we've got ESD safe tweezers and ESD wrist strap. So this looks great for stabbing you for terrible ideas. <laughs> that was your idea, stab yourself. That was not my idea. To, to bend the metal? Oh, that was my I idea. said I was gonna make it out of wood. Okay, well, okay, so the iFixit kit is good for lots of things. Like like making a case out of wood. Like making, no, it's not good for making a case out of wood. You it's can good, screw it together. It's good for reasonable things. <laughs> Hi, I called up um, computer recycling team and was recommended to you. I'm looking to buy some used computer components. I have a Be Quiet 800 watt fully modular power supply into a C90X SLI gigabyte board. That's uh, 1150 socket. That's all brand new. That's sitting in a tower. We also have gaming towers. We have CPU coolers, power supplies. All that stuff's all brand new, never been touched. We're pretty comfortable with DIY and and used stuff. Like we we would uh, we don't have that kind of a budget. Like I can already tell that power supply is going to be like half of what we would have to spend. Well, everything is 50 percent off of what original price is. Okay, um, so you said you're gonna have some more used, do those motherboards that you had to go through tomorrow, do those have CPUs and RAM in them as well? Like, could we dig through the pile? Oh. We're, we're actually all out of CPUs and RAM at the moment. When that stuff comes in, it's gone within 10 hours. That stuff goes quick along with the graphics cards. We buy everything wholesale. So we just buy pallets of stuff and sometimes we get lucky, sometimes we don't. But 90% of the stuff that we get in as far as gaming stuff is all brand new, never been opened. So, you know, just, just shoot me a text tomorrow morning and I'll, you know, give you a time when uh, either I'll be here or what time he can be here. Great, yeah. yeah. Thanks. All right, cool. What? 50% or more off of ticket. For brand, for like wholesale stuff. Yeah, I guess it makes sense because this is where all, like this is where basically all the computer parts for North America come in. Yeah. So I guess it's more likely like for there to be a pallet of random motherboards that like didn't sell or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do very well with that though, to be honest. Cuz like if he only has the motherboard like bundles, that's where you No, I know, I know. That's where you but I, I often find like like how many scrapyard wars have we had to buy a power supply at the very end? Yeah. Like almost every time. Yeah. And so he's got a 50% off power supply. Yeah, but uh, like even a be a be quiet 800 watt at 50 percent off is still like a hundred dollars. Yeah, spend like 40 bucks, 30 bucks on a power supply. Yeah. Okay. In the 2400, 3.1 gigahertz. Um, it has four gigs of DDR3. Um, uh, I think 250. Oh, okay. We've seen um, we've seen significantly better pricing on that kind of era stuff. So I might I might have to pass on that one. But I'll I'll call you back if our other leads fall through then. Asshole. Take care. Okay, thanks. Did he say asshole? Absolutely. Ah, well that's a lot nicer of a thing to say. Yeah. Okay, so there's a, a full gaming PC, 
for $450, which is right up there with our budget, but it's almost good to go. It's got an FX 9590, Hyper 212 Evo, an R9 390, which is a Sapphire card. 390 is still pretty solid. 16 gigs of DDR3, 725 watt power supply. This thing is pretty much good to go right out the gate, especially because it's got a Fantex P400, which is a fairly new case. It's a very recent case that has RGB LEDs in it um, and a two terabyte hard drive. The only thing that's missing here is an SSD at least from the looks of it. So that would give us 50 bucks for an SSD. If we're just putting the OS on it, probably don't need more than a 60 gig SSD, which we should be able to find for that price. I'm emailing him right now. The only issue is that he lives in Calabasas. He or she lives in Calabasas, which is probably an hour 15 drive one way without traffic. We're, we're not having too much luck, luck with Craigslist so far. We found some listings, but we haven't heard back from anyone we've contacted yet. So I have installed uh, Let Go. Uh, which is an app that just allows you to take a picture of something and then offer it to people to trade stuff. There does seem to be a decent amount of stuff in here. I found this listing for three computer towers, so just a case, but they're nine bucks each. And if we can knock out a, a you know, a decent case that'll fit everything and looks okay for nine dollars, then I'll feel like we accomplished something today. Hi, this message is for Jason. Um, I'm calling about. Uh... Oh, can I start this over? Thank you. Goodbye. Oh crap. 980 for 175, motherfuckers. Yeah, if you come over, I don't mind hooking it back up to my rig, running it through a benchmark. I'm off today, anytime. Let's go. Okay. So I realize we don't have an address yet, but that's okay. Not gummies. So we'll go back to the hotel while we wait for him to get back to us on the address. I finally feel like we have a purpose. Let's go. Yeah, this is Lilia from JE Components. Um, you messaged us on eBay. So you guys had some Xeons listed, correct? Uh, yes. Were they 5670? Sorry, I've messaged quite a few people. Yeah, 50X5670. Uh, right now we have them listed for 110. Can you do any you, better than that? Were you looking for the pair, or...? I, I did want a pair of them, because the board that we were able to find, are, like, we're kind of scraping together bits and pieces here. Uh, the best we can do right now is 100 for both. 100 for both. Yes. Yeah. Like, if we can't build a system for 325, like, then we should probably just stop making Scrapyard Wars. Because <laughs> we clearly suck. Shoot, there's more than one of the exact same address. Like, one of them's in Fullerton, one of them's in Whittier. I think there's actually more. Does it say on his Craigslist ad? Oh, I'll check. I'll check. That's in the dock, right? Yep. Okay, I'll check. Oh, crap. I think Bakersfield is in a, a different place altogether. Oh, my God. This is two hours away. Yeah, I'll call Paul. We can ask for mercy. Yeah, if, if you were them, would you give us mercy? I have before. Yeah, but you're uh, you're soft and weak like that. So we wanted to know, you know, given the late start today, you know, what would be the odds of doing like a, a longer a longer pickup tonight? You know. Uh, so go straight, go straight, go straight, go straight. Yeah, the, uh, the main issue is that Kyle can't. Uh, actually, he's probably going to get picked up in about a half an hour. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know, I, I, I tried to talk him out of it. He said no. You know, he just said, I, I don't care. Yeah. You know, or Scrapyard Wars or anything. Yeah, you know, I just, I, I really thought you guys were cool, which is... Well, no, he's, he's, not, he's not saying no to us. He's just saying that Kyle has to go. We're just wondering if we can go drive somewhere and drive back. So basically what you're saying is that Kyle's being pretty inconsiderate then. I'm definitely passing the buck, yeah. But, you know, we don't, want, we don't want to stretch the rules or bend them out of shape or go 18 hours overtime or anything like that. <laughs> okay, all right, I can respect that. I can respect that. I'm just, I'm just going to be thinking about how much I respect that. If you call me and you need a tool or whatever, you know. Well, well you know, we're not vengeful, though. So, uh, all right, all right. Thanks, Paul. I've never, I've never known you to be. Okay, thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Okay, okay. Thank, thanks, bye, bye. thanks, Paul. Okay. Um, thanks for nothing, Paul, you f Yeah, uh, so the Linus was asking if we could extend tonight during a time period when he knows you will not be here. That's BS. I already told him that I wouldn't be available after 5.30ish yeah. or 6. Yeah. So, unless you want to go alone, but I don't know if Doesn't, that's... I wouldn't seem appropriate, uh, especially because I might get mugged. Oh, yeah. And I'm, I know that your jujitsu skills are probably... That would be horrible. 
if you got mugged, I don't, like, that would traumatize me. Yeah. You know? Like, I don't know if I could handle that, you getting mugged. If we have to pay $100 for the CPUs, we get the 24 gigs of RAM, the dual socket board, the 175 GTX 980, the $40 case. If we can get the SSD for 35 with no tax, um, and we can get the hard drive for $10, then we are going to be, five, 10, we're gonna be $25 over. 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 $25 over. I was testing them out, and one of them uh, was defective, so I threw it away. Okay, so uh, it's I only have two. so it's two drives for ten bucks. Well, yeah, you can have them for ten bucks. It's fine. I, I'll you can have both of them for ten bucks. I don't care. Okay, I'm calling up um, Michael here. Let's see if Michael is gonna come down from two fifty to one seventy five on that there video card. <laughs> if I could talk to him, maybe I can reason with him. I don't blame people for not picking up my calls. <laughs> Must show up on the caller ID, like terrible person. Hello? Hi, is this Michael? Uh, yeah, hi. Hi, um, I saw your Craigslist ad for an MSI GTX 980. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interested? Um, yeah, I'm interested, but I, I hate to be, I hate to be one of those people, but I only have 175 bucks. Are you able to do that? Um. Oh, sorry, sorry, that work right now. I what can. I, uh, I can come get it like tomorrow, like quick sale at least. It has that going for it. Uh, I can't do 175. Sorry. Uh, how many? What's what them or just one? I I only well, I, mean, I only have 175. So unless you wanted to do both of them for 175, it's definitely just one. Uh, sorry, I can't do that. What's the best you can do? <laughs> for one, uh, the best I can I, the best I can do is 20, my man. Is what? Sorry. It's 220. 180. 220. Oh, 220. Oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely misheard you there. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. I just, I don't think that's in the cards for me right now. I really appreciate it um, though. Actually, actually, could you do two? What's that, sorry? Could you do two, 200. 200? Yeah. I'm on a, I, you know what? I should probably tell you like sort of what, what's going on here. Um, basically one of our buddies is moving away. He doesn't have a gaming rig and everybody scraped together 500 bucks. That's all we've got. Um, and so we're trying to get kind of everything for that. And basically we've budgeted it out and we've got 175 for the video card. Like that's kind of where I'm at. And I can maybe stretch like another 10 bucks. Like, could you do 185? You know what, I can do 185. You can do 185? Yeah. Okay, that is incredibly, incredibly cool of you. I think we can, hold on. I think we can make this work. If we can get an SSD for $35, and I get the CPUs from the other shop where there's no tax. And we, do, and we do 16 gigs of RAM instead of 24, then we're at $498 and 17 cents. Maybe I should have negotiated on the $2.50. I'm you. So far we've got like what, two bucks? Not even quite? Uh... Yeah, two dollars left. Two dollars. So we've got about two dollars. You're not gonna. If I can get this guy, to, if I can get this guy to seven fifty, oh, then we'll have four dollars and fifty cents. Oh my god! If we drive five hours, then we'll have fourteen dollars and fifty cents, which is probably enough to do something RGB. We could probably do something RGB for free. Like if we just wanted to like be idiots and like find red things and like leaves. Fantastic. And that one works? You try Absolutely. That one? Cool. Yeah, that one works. Okay. okay. Done deal. Pleasure yeah. doing business with you. Thank you very much. All right, you guys. Is, does this have two drives in it? This might have two drives in it. Maybe it's like a RAID thing? Is that what the dual interfaces are for? Maybe there's actually two drives? We'll have to see, but... You know what's really funny is iFixit sponsored this, and we, have to and we actually drive. have to disassemble hard drive. <laughs> Day one. Back to you. 
We have a thing. <laughs> well, two things. Okay. With that, our day's sort of done, though. I think we got this. Yeah, well, it's six o'clock. Exactly. We're, we're just out getting food. Yeah. I have food. Look, food. Yeah. Brandon, food. See, food. Yeah, we're not we're not doing scrapyard doors anymore. We're just we're just getting some food. Don't worry about it. Okay, so let's uh, let's drive uh, back to the restaurant that we um, are at right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is day two scrapyard wars. Um, day one, Paul and I didn't really get any parts. No one's here from the other team, right? They can't hear us. Okay, so we didn't get any parts yesterday, so all the emails that I sent out was just casting a really wide net, um, just being very polite and trying to see if anyone would re reply. I'm following up with all those people now, like my house is on fire and we're all about to die because um, we only have one more day of this. Tomorrow is pretty much judgment day, so pretty much we need to start parting things together, hopefully by the end of tonight, early tomorrow morning. So um, we're just gonna have to see if, uh, if people respond to a sense of urgency and can tell in the tone of my emails that this is a matter of life or death. I'm terrified. I feel like we've made some real connections on a deep, emotional, human level with the people that we're trying to negotiate with, and that's important. We're getting the best deals. Sorry, but I'm trying to get rid of the whole computer, not interested in parting out. Screw you! Kyle has some strategery he's working on right now. We'll see if that works out. I'm not really sure. Um, Are you serious right now? Yeah. You're literally cleaning your car. It's important. In day two of Scrapyard Wars. We need to be able to see clearly out the windows to the computer hardware that's you outside. Not, you should not have win Windex in your hand unless it's for a side panel window, damn it. All right, first stop for today is Fullerton, California. Lovely town, established in 1898. Get to the point, Paul. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> there's a guy there with cases. Uh, he has, I think he has four of them. Some of them have some parts still in them. Given that he's got four and he wants like nine bucks for them, and it sounds like he might even just be like, just please take these. Uh, it might be just kind of a good stepping off point. Get something in hand, very minimal investments, and uh, we're really hoping there might be a power supply in one of them that's usable too. In other news, I just got a reply from the dude that has uh, CPU and motherboard. Uh, it's a K SKU. I, 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 can't, I didn't even remember. I, probably a 2600K. It's all a blur right now, but it's a good CPU and motherboard. And this is the guy who didn't want to meet us at lunch because on his on his lunch break from work because he said it was going to take too long to disassemble the system. I told him that I'm a full-time system builder and I could provide any assistance if possible and he said that won't speed things up. I just need to unscrew everything including my specialty mounted liquid cooler from the board. Can you text me at this number? So we got a number from him. Okay. That's good. So That's faster good. communication. Yeah. Uh, he said that would be faster. I might be able to work something out. I'm okay with you. We're okay. You, you know me. I mean, I've got so much stuff listed on Craigslist. I have so much stuff listed on Let Go and um, Offer Up mm -hmm. that afterwards I'll drop the price and just. You just gotta clear it out. Yeah. Are each of these ten bucks, or or what's uh, actually the the pricing for this on? Full working one. About thirty. Okay. Twenty-five, thirty for this ten, ten. That one, five. Do you know what's inside of that, by the way? XP. Like, it's an XP. Uh, we're, we're, it's a tell. Uh, as far as, there's a modem in there. Yeah, here, look, guys. So it's also potentially a proprietary power supply. So the power supply will not work for us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's uh, it's proprietary, so it doesn't you guys have, are doesn't have the. We're we're trying to part out an entire system as quickly and as inexpensively as possible. This right. is, is the basic game. Uh, so. There's a hard drive. But in I do there, appreciate you contacting me. I do appreciate you following up. Of course. I yeah. like people like that because <laughs> I can drop the price and get rid of all this yeah, stuff. And yeah. My wife can be happy. I can be happy. You can be happy. This is an ATX yeah. chassis. It could work. It's got a window, so technically yeah, we'd be yeah, able to put some right. RGB lighting it and it would shine through. Yeah. Um, so, nothing else is really usable. The hard drive is only 40 gig, yeah. and uh, it looks like we don't have the correct um, pins or anything on that motherboard. Well, the motherboard's just super outdated. I don't even know what chipset it is. But um, the case looks good, though. The case could work. How much did you say for this one again? Like. $9. That okay. is very strange. I want you happy, guys. I, I just can't yeah. pull this stuff <laughs> yeah, yeah. and stack it back in the garage. I feel you. Yeah. So, so this one doesn't have a window. Yeah, it's a turn no to worries. find virus for sure. I haven't had a job for over a year, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I tend to hold on to things and keep things. I feel you. 
Are you sold on this one, or? I think this will work. It's got it's got the space we need. Um, uh, you know. Is it a standard power supply mount? Yeah. Yeah. So it it's is. a typical yeah, ATX. standard ATX power supply mounts. Yeah, that'll work. What about this girl? We like the window on this guy because yeah. that's one of the. Ch I could tell his wife was just like, if you bring any of these home, you like I'm. I'm Gonna continue to be mad at you or whatever. So, I offered to like to, we can just take another one. Like they were the cases were in pretty bad shape. They weren't gonna be able to be sold to anyone besides people doing something like this. Honestly, if you if you just to help you out with the wife situation or whatever, I'll take one of them if you just want to get rid of it and and come home with a little bit less stuff. I mean, I'll probably end up recycling it honestly, but uh, it, I mean, if if that helps take you. Take that one in. This one. Yep. Take okay, that, you can do that. Girl. All right. Sir, for this guy right here, no change needed. Extra dollar is a sign of gratitude. Thank you so much. This is perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for right now. So, yes, you just made our day. Success. We should just call it here. We're good. Yeah. She's just taken his his, his fully built system and just presented that. It's gonna be score of what? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, day two. Um, not a lot of good commu communication overnight. So I, but at least we have these really ancient <laughs> looking hard drives. So there's that. Yeah. So um, I heard back from a lot of guys I messaged about GTX 980s. 185 is definitely our best deal. Okay. Uh, this guy said 200, this guy's, uh, this guy's the 175, but the five hour round trip drive, which I don't. I, I think we shouldn't kill it yet. <sighs> I, I'll, I'll just, I'll don't, just, don't close the communication line. Hanging. Yes. Yeah. I'll leave yeah, him hanging, yeah, which is yeah. just, just not very considerate. A little bit rude, but it's fine. Um, <clears throat> okay. So I'm not going to lie. That's some of the bad news for today. The place with the bulk of the components, motherboard, RAM, tower, SSD. I haven't heard back from them since the afternoon yesterday. And I've emailed them at the end of the day yesterday and first thing this morning. And what I said was, we found the CPUs cheaper somewhere else, so that freed up some budget. And I wanted to take the tower for 40, the motherboard for 75, 16 gigs, not 24 gigs of RAM for 40, which is like per dim, that's the price they gave, and the 128 gig SSD, I didn't try to negotiate. I left it at 45 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, that should be 200 plus tax. I haven't heard from them. And they said, once you place an order, it's a one day lead time. Yeah, we have much bigger problems right now. IT Recycle Pro is in Palo Alto. If they respond, we could take a flight. Technically, flying is not against the rules. It is a transport cost. Transport costs are not within the fixed budget. Paulo, you know what? Ontario, no, no. Ontario Airport, I'm Paulo okay. Alto. You look up Ontario, I'll look up LAX. <laughs> uh, LAX is only about an hour and a half drive from here. How, how are we gonna transport a server back on the plane? You know what? There's a non-stop flight from 7.45 tonight to 9. Do they have Uber Chopper here? Hi, um, this might be kind of a stupid question, but um, is it possible to charter a flight to San Fran? From where? From LA? Yeah, no, it's not stupid. Uh, what, uh, what date and time are you looking at? Well, that's where it gets kind of stupid. It would probably be today. <laughs> Uh, what time today? So we, we don't know yet. Uh, long story short, we're filming a thing, um, and there's a part that it's that we'll know probably within the next hour or two. There's a part that we need, and it, the only way to get it might be to go pick it up in San Francisco. So we would need a, a flight up there and then a flight back. Okay, how many passengers are we looking at? Two, three, three, three. Sorry, there's a camera operator. Um, and uh, just so you're aware, a lot of folks associate us with helicopters, totally correct. But for a trip like this, I'd probably push you towards an airplane. Oh. Um, it's actually going to be a little bit more cost effective for you guys. I've never flown in a helicopter. It would be super cool. So maybe I could get a price for both? Yeah, absolutely. That's no problem. <laughs> um, 
I hate to do this to you, but can I have like kind of a ballpark? Like, are we looking at 2,000 or 20,000? Just so I know what I'm dealing with. Sure, let me Yeah, and it's round trip. We would need to come back. So we'd probably have to pay for an hour of sitting on the airfield, I guess is how that works, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. see what, uh, which operator we go with. And yeah, so it looks like it would be about six grand each way. Okay, got it. Thank you. Does that seem reasonable? That seems like if we don't have another choice, we're gonna have to go for it, so. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see if we can bring the cost down as much as possible, and uh, when you reconnect with us, we should have a few options for you, okay? Okay, thanks, man. You're welcome. Okay. okay, okay, bye. Well, I think we need to explore other options. So, mm -hmm. Virgin has a non-stop from 6.30 to 8 o'clock from LAX to SFO. So tonight is our late pickup night. Yeah. That flight is only $292. So if we were to get a hotel there, or you know what we could do? Here's a crazy thought. What if we flew there and drove back? I was actually kind of thinking if you step, if we like check in the car here, say we need to pick it up again, yeah, and just get it from the same guys and then drive back. So we fly out at like five tonight or something, yeah, and then just drive back. And it would be quite late when we'd get back. It's better for the server though. Dude, we're gonna end up here all day again. Like we got to get out and get moving. We need some other. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call the guy with the CPUs, the guy who works at the like film studio. Maybe they have the rest of the workstation. And I have other good news. The guys that I called and talked to who were willing to do the cash deal on the CPUs, yeah. but their pricing wasn't any better, those guys are local local, Inglewood. Okay. So they haven't replied to my email saying all the stuff I needed though, but they're local and they said we could go there. Okay. Now I feel terrible, because I was like, the guy that I've strung along for so long, was his name Justin? I'm like emailing him being like, yeah, what time can we come today? The earlier, the better. Now I look like a total asshole. It's like, oh, we didn't realize that you're in a completely different city, because we're idiots. Just don't say that. I feel like we, want, we would like to present it to him like later tonight. If we flew there at night, we wouldn't even be able to go into their shop. They'd be closed. And yeah, like, there's earlier flights, though. Oh, that was the earliest one I saw. Are you sure the earlier ones aren't like 17 hours with like sure. multiple stops? Yeah, they'll be closed for sure. Unless we were able to get on one 15 minutes ago. Right. Because I think it's like, like morning and then like evening. Studio guy's not picking up. I'm going to call JE Components here. I can't believe I overlooked that. I spent all this time like... Basically, we built the entire strategy around getting that bare bones from those guys. This is like not good. No. JE components might be an okay alternative though. Hi, I called into you guys yesterday about, um, we're putting together, actually it's like a, a gaming computer, but we think we can use some server hardware for it. Okay, um, I did send you an email, but our situation has changed a little bit. Um, we found a really cheap source for the CPUs, but we still need uh, RAM, motherboard, chassis and power supply and cooling as well as um, a cheap SSD. Are we are we able to come in? Like, did you guys have just kind of random dual socket motherboards and some... We're actually looking for a tower chassis, not a rack mount chassis if possible. Sure, thank you so much. We're kind of desperate. <laughs> Shoot. Honestly, I haven't found anything like as big and professional looking as these guys though. Oh, well, uh, oh, 12.30? And I, oh, that's in an hour and a half. That's yeah. not bad. That's from Ontario to SFO, too. That's a good flight. Yeah, we'd have to know from Justin, like, no. How much is it? 235 bucks? Yep. Okay. And then we'd be back by 6.30. It's an hour and a half. Hey, Justin, it's, uh, it's Ash calling from our emails yesterday. If we were able to get there before five, would we be able to get it today? Is it possible? I think we could go ahead and get, uh, make that happen. Uh, email me your shipping address and I'll take care of the rest. Okay, great, thank you. All right, thanks. Okay, bye. So are we catching the plane? Hold on, we might have a slight problem. Shipping address? I didn't account for tax for the SSD in our budget. 
We're two dollars over. I should have let you negotiate on the hard drive. Look, you were right and I was wrong. Do you feel good about it? No. Should we just show up and be two dollars short? I don't think they're gonna let us get away with that. No. These guys are like kind of legit. Michael might. We're pushing our meeting out with him another day. Like we're kind of screwing Michael. So we're screwing Michael and Omid and we expect one of them to give us a two dollar discount. Well, let's get the let's get moving <laughs> one way or another. Like we don't have a choice. <sighs> There's no other flight? Not really. What time do we have to be at the airport? Uh 12:20. 12.20 at the airport. Yeah, so we have 45 minutes. Can we get to Michael first? Oh my God, and passports? Here, I don't know how I'm far grabbing your iFixit kit, let's go. Where's Michael? Yeah, I, we'll figure it out. Oh no, I have mine, I have mine. Let's just get the f out of here. Will these cases help Paul and Kyle tower above the competition? Will Luke and Linus make their flight or are they destined to be grounded? Find out next time on Scrapyard Wolf.